Hey everybody, got our bird here. We're here with another one of the worst movies on YouTube. Fuck. Who? After the hour forty of Rod last week, I was like, Nah, dude. We need to get back into fucking basics. And when I mean basics, I mean 80s, check. Shot on video, check. John McBride playing the oldest college student ever, check. Yeah, hair completely quaffed. Check. To, to bounce with every movement. So yes, we have done Cannibal Campout. Written, half directed by, produced by, everything by John goddamn McBride. This was his first movie. This was pre Polina Brothers. This was pre Woodchipper Massacre. This was. This was. This was uh, <laughs> a boring hot mess. Yes. Boring. But I do kind of like it. Like I said while watching it, it was like, there I were, would watch this again parts. with people that's never seen it. There were parts. But Jesus Christ, did you have to fucking yeah. go through some filler here's to a get there? Here's a prediction, right? Terry is going to make many appearances many, in this. Many <laughs> appearances. Yes, you know, and, 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 I, and I wish we could channel Terry for real or find where the hell Terry's hiding, you know, because I want him. To, I want to film just a quick thing of him si saying it now, you know, in honor of the whole thing because it's just like Terry, you don't understand. <laughs> You're used an awful lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. Because, you know, and, you know, and, and let me, and, and there's movies that are coming out, that come out now, that you could, Terry could be all over that shit. You know? Yeah. But anyway, I got two full pages of notes. Let's try to get into this. Right? So it opens up on a shot of this house in New Jersey. And this chick comes out in her full 80s fucking athletic gear. Yeah, she has like the wristbands and the pom-pom sock thingies. And puts your fucking shoes on Walk for man. how goddamn long, Terry? Forever! 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 <laughs> yes, yeah, so we have to watch her put both fucking shoes and that on. that right there should give you an indication on, on the pace of the film. Well, you know I mean, they're yeah. like, well, they're showing us her put her, her shoes on and tie them. Wow, I needed to see this. So, yes, this whole movie was, was just setting you up for filler, 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 filler. Yeah. See, now look, it's been so long, well, besides Coots last week, it's been so long as we did a real movie, it's hard, man. After going from those, like, 20-minute long fucking things... I know, I, I, got, I got greedy, because I was just yeah. like, oh, we barely got to watch anything, yeah! <laughs> you know, and then the fucking, like, an hour and some minutes of a Polina, this, not Polina... Yeah, British not movie. Polina's at all. Not Polina's, but fucking <laughs> felt like it. No wonder he meshed well with them. I honestly like this better than I like Polina Brothers movies. Well... Honestly. Well, but whatever. Let's get back to I'm this, sure. right? This felt equal. So, the fucking Olivia Newton-John fucking dressed chick, right? She puts her fucking Walkman on. I'll give the Polina Brothers this. I don't think I was this bored with watching one of their films. Feeders. Okay, Feeders is an too. exception. Right. <laughs> uh, Splatter Farm was You don't more have to go out this. of your way to prove me wrong. <laughs> well, I mean... You're giving credit to Polina Brothers, so I kind of did have to prove you wrong. Don't give them credit! I'm not, but they, they this had a young Frank in it, and they disturbed me, and I don't like it. Anyway. I never want to see Frank's face again. Back to the goddamn fucking athletics chick, right? She puts her Walkman on, like I said, and we get 80 fucking awful synth music that's fucking great and awful all at the same time. Synth music. <laughs> Sith? Yeah. Like fucking Vader? I don't know why this wasn't in the Star Trek music. It's whatever. not Star Trek. I know. You not make Star Trek a Star Wars. You have a lot of people hating on you. Eh, who cares? Everybody you're, hates you're right. on us. Who yeah, fucking cares? Does Nobody it really hates. matter? So anyway, god damn it. Right? The only ones that hate on us is when we do a fucking... 
a porn, not porn documentary, and they all think it was just the documentary, and they get pissed at us because we kept popping in, going, "Look, wieners." <laughs> <laughs> So, anyway, oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> anyway. the kick's goddamn jogging for how fucking long, Terry? Forever! 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 For a straight fucking cack minute. And obviously she's never heard of a goddamn sports bra because she'd be jogging with her boobies jiggling for how goddamn long, Terry? Forever! 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 And being a fat guy, you should know how bad that hurts when you jog and shit. I got the button, the button, the button. Oh, fucking A, dude. And then goddamn goose pops out. For, not a goose. For not, like, not a goose. Goose from goddamn fucking Top Gun pops right. out. So, like, he didn't die in the fucking ocean while Tom Cruise cried all over his face. Yeah. He fucking was parachuted down Jersey. in New Jersey and yeah. axes this fucking chick. So, the New Jersey devil was actually goose. <laughs> <laughs> so, we cut to college students, John McBride, and this fucking butthead looking fucking dickbag can't close his fucking mouth. What? The crew cut fucking dude that looks like goddamn the human version of Butthead. Oh yeah, he was a Butthead. Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. And uh, I couldn't tell if he had braces on or his teethers, but is that <laughs> fucked? They talk about class for a while and this camping trip. You no, know, I can't wait. We are really gonna have fun. Yeah, I wish I could go. You still can. Oh, and bring Susan. Uh, no way. I've got my calculus exam Monday. If I fail, I am dead. Come on, it doesn't take all weekend to study for that thing. Uh, unfortunately, some of us have to study to get good grades. Okay, I tried. <sighs> yeah, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't <laughs> fucking matter. It doesn't. It really doesn't. John McBride, like I said, he is always the oldest college student ever. Oh, yeah, but Butthead does talk about, you know, this murdered family and whatnot. <laughs> you guys are going up to Redston? Yeah, why? Wasn't that where the family disappeared a month ago? And the cops found their station wagon and all their stuff soaked in blood, and they never found the bodies? What? I never heard about that. Yeah, it was on the news. No, you're, you're thinking of Philadelphia. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Redstone. I never heard about any of that. Mm. Oh, God, I'm late. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Take care. Oh, Amy and Chris are going to come, too. Great. You know, we are going to have so much fun. I have a feeling this is going to be a weekend we are never going to forget. Yeah, it's, a, it's like Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze looked old in everything, you know? Uh, seriously. Like, fucking, even in uh, the... What's that, the book and the movie and everything? I had everybody. I had Emilio Estevez, Tom Cruise. The Outsiders. The Outsiders. Right. You know, he looked, he was all, he looked old and he wasn't, you know? But then, uh, you know, that's why it always creeped me out and I make fun of Jamie all the time. She fucking loves Dirty Dancing. And I always mention the fact. I'm like, he's like 55. And Baby is like, what, 12? You know, or some shit. Nobody puts Baby in the corner. You fucking creep. Oh, Nobody puts Baby in the corner. Except whatever goddamn fucking Patrick Swayze put her better over in a corner. No, but like if I was the dad, you know, the dad was just Jerry like... Jerry Orbach. Orbach, right. <laughs> if I'd be Orbachin' him right in the fucking face. Because, like, seriously, he comes up to the table and he's just like, nobody puts Baby in a corner. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, excuse me, Mr. 45-year-old, you know, uh, creepy dancer. And then he takes her up on stage. The da didn't the dad start to get pissed or get I up or something? Do, I, I was like, know. oh, honey, let them dance. Sit down, Jake. Meanwhile, they're up there like, a ba, a ba, a ba, a ba. He's, he's fucking dry up at his daughter on stage. And the, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'd be like whipping fucking bottles and butter knives and shit and everybody, you know. Come I'm, on, dude. I would be like, he's the best fixer in the business, man. But everybody just thought he'd be, he would have been taller. Whatever. So anyway. Funk was in that. Blah. Forever. 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 
So blah, blah, fucking blah, right? We cut to them in the van. When I mean them, I mean John McBride's driving. His girlfriend, Kmart Carol Kane, is in the goddamn passenger seat. Right. You got Kmart Bill Murray's shitty brother from Moving Violations and Scrooge if here. he popped into the set of B.O. Juice and the fucking dude shrunk his head just a little <laughs> yeah. bit. Not all the way. Yeah, I mean, he does have an interesting really head. fucking shaped head. Like, it's like one of those little miniature pumpkins. Right? And his girlfriend. Which, right. there was nothing really special. Worth, yeah. Nah, really. But it doesn't matter. But they're in this van driving down the road, and it has kind of tinges of a very boring, kind of shitty fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I don't know why they yeah, made me think of the scene. they're always friends in a van, and then there's oh, yeah. the creeper shows. But, no, no, no. Before all that happens, we get fucking singing. If I was suddenly taken from you, sweetheart, light a candle for me, dear, and say a prayer. Well, I love how you said before that all happens. Everybody knows <laughs> that's going to happen. Oh, like, yeah. Gee, I wonder, are they going to run into some creepers who just so happen to occupy this area without police or FBI knowing of it? But before that happens, we get more singing. If my brains were turning mushy, would you want me? If I burned up in a fire, would you guess? If I swallowed nitric acid, would you help me? Or would you just think that I possess no class? Every serial killer ends up getting caught. And guess what? They're still fucking singing. Oh, darling. Please tell me now, cause the lights are getting dim. concept of a family of freaks being able to live off the land and eat people for generations is horseshit. Oh wait, the Clintons. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're still fucking singing. I'm kidding. <laughs> Kmart dream on. Listen to this. Hillary only eats flesh on special occasions. I mean, for real though, man, this is hardcore fucking goddamn Kmart dream on. It is Kmart. It's like every time I look in the mirror, I look at my daughter, he creepy like... Yeah, it's, it is it is creepy. I can't. You know, that one video, you know, you watch it and you're like, ah, stop oogling your daughter, you weirdo. You know? You're talking about Steven Tyler. Right. Well, I could be talking about Trump. Well, like, yeah, with but... With a buckle on his lap, like, bang, 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 bang. All the time. Everybody's like, oh, she was 10. There's all Dude, those she was 17. There's all these pictures with her, like... On his lap. Yeah, just... they're doing this butt thing on his lap. Ew. Oh, anyway, anyway moving on. Let's talk about some murder. It's a little weird. I mean, look, come on, Trump supporter people. Like, even you gotta admit it's a little weird. Like, you hug your daughter. You're like, oh, okay, you know, you're not like, get on the lap and... Yeah. Moving on! K Word Carol Kane tells a science Unless joke. You're from Alabama, I guess it's normal. Okay, guys, I have a joke. What's the difference between an enzyme and a hormone? I give up, what? You can't hear an enzyme. <laughs> but you can hear a <laughs> Hey, Bart, Bill Murray's shitty brother. Hey, I like moving violations, so I don't know why, but he I just... didn't say anything bad about movies. But, I mean, he's the brother that didn't fucking amount maybe, to anything. Maybe he's a little <laughs> I mean, he might have. He might. I'm sure he amounted to some Maybe shit. he's selling goddamn insurance. Liberty, 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 liberty. Stop it. <laughs> That's all that exists. That's all the commercials are anymore. Fucking commer goddamn insurance commercials. That's all it is! But anyway, that dude tells a fucking joke. Yeah, I heard this at work the other day. This is really funny. What's more disgusting than a pile of dead babies? I give up. A live one on the bottom eating its way out. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's kind of disgusting. But I really thought it was funny, you know? <laughs> that cracked them up downtown. If I fucking see that... Jake from State Farm, dude, one more, I swear to God. I mean, not, it's not like, I mean him, it's not just him, it's Flo, it's the fucking lizard, it's Shaq, you know, and the general, and goddamn all of them, everybody's like, what do you got to buy? No, 
It's just, they're all whores for the insurance companies. I had to go through this whole rant before we started filming, and now I gotta hear it a second they are. time. Oh. Oh, man, fuck you! Everybody was like, "Did you see Michael Myers?" Mike Myers. I always say <laughs> Michael. <laughs> They're like, "Did you see Mike Myers and Dana Carvey do the fucking Wayne World thing?" And I'm like, "Yeah, they were selling shit." Whores! Oh yeah, this isn't Skype. I can fucking punch you if you start going. <laughs> Don't. I like it. That's all it fucking. I, I'm a cranky old man. I don't like anything. Oh, but hey, I'm a cranky old man too, so I can't fuck. I'm not saying anything. I'm, but... am, am I crazy or am I wrong? That's all there is. <laughs> is car is insurance commercials. Am I crazy commercials. or am I wrong? There's, in There's no right. I'm not right. You know, obviously. Right. There's in all this insurance commercial. I can't speak today. Insurance commercials and then fucking maybe a random car commercial. Oh, that, that's it. But speaking of cars, the van is driving down a dirt road when they encounter another car. Stopped moving, but stopped because they say stuff. Security's only going about five miles an hour. We're never gonna get there now. Can't you pass them? No, the road's way too narrow. And then they honk the horn at it. And honk at them. I don't know. Well, we're never gonna get to the campsite at this rate. We get around ya? And then they honk the horn at it again. That's nice. They're not even acknowledging us. Then honk at them again. <laughs> And then two guys get out. He's like, can we go around? No, where? Well, where are you going to go fucking around? I mean, like, the van does outweigh the car. As soon as these dickheads get out of the car, you just have to push the car out of but the way. But anyway, speaking of two dickheads getting out of the car, you got Kmart Eli Roth. Yeah. And then Frank. Kmart fucking Kmart Frank. Frank. A younger version Bobby. of Frank. Bobby. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so they come up to the fucking van. What's the problem? Apparently you are. Is there something you want? Yeah, lay off your fucking horn, asshole. Frank is all creepy as fuck. Yeah. Hey, look. This one's got great tits. Frank is beyond creepy. Now, uh, well, he rides girlfriends in the passenger seat, and 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 young Frank is saying some god awful shit to her. Hear this. Hey, baby, you suck my cock, and I'll lick your pussy. Why don't you go suck each other up, you sick fuck? Don't antagonize them. They're nuts. Hey, that wasn't nice. I don't think I like you anymore. As a matter of fact, you're a tight ass bitch. How'd you like me to staple your tits to the rope? You wanna suck my dick and I'll lick your pussy? Frank! Frank! We heard Frank. Anyway, McBride's sitting there and he has no reaction to it. He's like, hey, no. don't do that to my girlfriend that I, I guess I like. I vote for bashing their fucking heads together. Well, why don't you just drive around them? They're not a very hospitable bunch, are they? Like, dude, don't you think you'd do something? And then all of a sudden, unibrow Eli Roth fucking pulls out a knife. No, first Bill Murray's illegitimate. Uh, he's not illegitimate. Bill Murray came for Bill Murray's shitty brother. He's not illegitimate. He, he stands up. Well, I mean, he's he, authentic he, he, Murray. He goes rawr and says some shit. Hey, fuck off, buddy. Uh... Is that it? Can we go now? He's got the authentic Murray bloodline. Now Eli Roth, Kmart Eli Roth, pulls out a fucking knife. And that wasn't that exciting because they're like, eh, uh, uh, let's slowly back up. Slowly. He got away. You let him get away. Oh, don't worry, there'll be others. There'll be others. Oh, I don't know. Those girls were hot. I'd love to fuck that blonde one. She had nice tits. That, that's enough. We have to find Joe. Uh, don't worry, right. there'll be others. All right, all right. There always are. That dude never had, had a chance and because he looked too much like Bill Murray, and everybody <laughs> thought he was making doing a Bill Murray impression. Like he's his brother. And then, but anyway, they drive away super slowly. It's like. Super. Look how fucking goddamn slow this van's going. Jesus Christ, what the hell was their problem? Did you see those guys' eyes? Those guys were crazy. Well, John, are you all right? Yeah, I'm just a little shaken, that's all. Maybe we should go back to the school? No, I'm, I'm sure it's all right. They probably don't live anywhere near here. I certainly hope you're right. Well, it certainly was an interesting way to start out a weekend. Yeah. yeah, and I sure hope it doesn't get any more interesting. Ditto. Me and you could get down on our hands and knees and crawl <laughs> faster than that van. But they finally make it to, you know, 
their destination. Which is two feet down the fucking road. Right. I they, guess we got away from them. They park, they unload all their stuff. Let's get going already. Walk, take a walk in the woods. Okay, who's this who? Mine's the blue one. Mine's the blue one. Okay, there's everybody's a blue one. <laughs> I this one. Mine is underneath. Who's sleeping bag? I don't bring Mine. one! That's ours. That's okay. I don't want to sleep in the dark. And here's where it begins, it right? Began, yeah, I mean, it turns into a goddamn Lord of the Rings motherfucking troop. Because they wa go into the woods and walk for how fucking long, Terry? Forever! 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 And then it cuts to goddamn Goose in an outside smokehouse. Because the side says smokehouse, but there he's over a grill that's not lit, and he's butchering people. Like we got some like real meat stuff going on on the unlit grill, but then you got like you know foam head and whatever beside him, whatever. Right. And yeah. foam head is not an insult to any person. There's an actual honest to god foam head. Foam head. Right. 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 <laughs> Yeah, a, a head made out of foam. Well, because foam head just seems like it's some kind of, like, evil comment about, like, somebody that Barbara fucking Blackstone would have driven in her school bus. I don't think I've ever, anybody ever called foam head, but okay. But yeah, but like, uh, and, and of course a creepy Santa Claus. Oh yeah, there's just a quick shot from a creepy Santa Claus for no fucking reason whatsoever, goddamn ever. Old Saint Nick. So, blah blah fucking blah. Like some, some cannibals. The kids are still walking through the woods and they come across a flipped over car and talk about it. Oh, look at this car! What kind of car is that? A broken one. Looks like a Ford. Somebody had a cookout here. Really? Uh -huh. What year do you think it is? 65, maybe. Car. Yeah, <laughs> and the gas tank, and the transmission, and the rear seat, and the trunk, and the front tires. So basically, filler. Yeah, well, yes. But I'm gonna say, so they, um, because it's yeah. intelligent. You cannot <laughs> fucking hear half the dialogue because it's like, hold on, hold on, as they're walking, well, you know, the mic blows. But like, so all you're getting is them walking and murmuring the whole fucking time. Then they get to a car and they're like, what? How old is it? Oh, I think it's a Ford. Oh, look, it's blue. I'm like, yes, I know. We all see this. Shut up. So guess what? They walk for how fucking long, Terry? <laughs> Oh yeah, but Kmart Dream On's playing. Oh, yeah. Dream On! Dream On! You! So they go and they check out this abandoned cabin and talk about it. Probably the hill. This is old. I think this place was built in the Stone Age. God, Ooh. this is so cool. How long, Terry? Forever! 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 And guess what? That's fucking goddamn what, Sheik? Fucking bullshit! Haha! <laughs> I'm the one to remember to bring Sheik in this time! Well, good. You should never forget Sheik. So, we cut to the three but uh, we cut to the Whoa, th you <laughs> broke <laughs> down. I said, uh, we, we cut to the Frank. three brothers, Frank, brothers. Eli Roth, and Goose, just walking and talking. talking. Yeah, cause like... Okay, uh, <laughs> for how long, Terry? Forever! 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 Yeah, 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 I sound like I was starting off a Busta Rhyme song there for a second. But no, fucking walking and talking. That's what this should have been called. Walking and talking. Because for the whole, besides the chick getting fucking axed in the beginning, right, there is nothing but walking and talking for the first 45 minutes of this fucking movie. So what do you think? Yeah. Perfect. This is fine. Oh, yeah. look at this huge rock. Cool. Yeah, this is 
great. Yeah, just put everything down here for the time being. Yeah, so note to other people making said movies. Do not fill your movie up with walking and talking because you will lose the audience because if you have something planned special for the end that's supposed to shock everybody or some crazy shits, nobody's gonna fucking care by the time they get down that long path of crap. But anyway, go through. speaking of that long path of crap, the girls talk about romance. Surroundings like this are just so romantic. Yeah, they are. Ooh. And the weather. So you don't think it'll rain, do you? I didn't bring any kind of rain gear or anything. Oh, I don't think you have to worry about it. I mean, the weather report said it was supposed to be nice all weekend. That's good. I shouldn't want anything spoiling it. Nothing will. I mean, what could possibly happen? But the three fucking brothers, they fucking see them, and goddamn Frank... Frank! Mommy! Mommy! Frank! ...says about, you know, how it's a small, small... Well, here. It's, it's a small world, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a small world. It's it's a small world. <laughs> Shut up. It's, it's a small, 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 small. Fucking Eli Ross says, That sure is a lot of meat. And then fucking goddamn Frank! Frank! Mommy! What the fuck are you doing, Mommy? Talks about what they can do to the girls, all the things and. And the things yeah, and the yeah. memory. Imagine what fun you can have with two girls. You can, you can fuck them and, 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 and then you can fuck them and, and you can fuck them again. And, no, we can even we can even like tie them up in a basement and and and, and 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 keep them like pets and we can feed them when we want to and shut up. Oh yeah, but guess what? Then they have a flashback to this one chick tied to a fucking tree in black and white. Well, because they remember him back to the good old days, like two minutes ago. Yeah, and well, then they, they were still wearing the same fucking so clothes. So they torture this fucking chick for how fucking long, Terry? Forever. Forever. Yeah. And torturing women and just this scene in general is what fucking chic? Fucking bullshit! Yeah. <sighs> but that's not even... It's a jersey thing. <laughs> it's not even the fucking worst of it because... They almost rape her for how fucking long, Terry? Yeah, and you're like, thank you, movie, for showing me all these horrible things that probably take place in New Jersey. Uh, but then Jersey. she gets away, but she gets macheted. It happens everywhere, I don't know. And I mean, I, I was going to mention about how, like, uh, there was a topless scene, and how topless scenes in these shot on video movies are always, like, more interesting than, you know silicone titties and whatnot, but yeah. I this it doesn't feel right commenting on titties during a torture rape scene. Yeah. So and my enthusiasm's crapping out, so I gotta I move on. I honestly don't understand why we keep people around to do shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, why do we lock them up and waste time and energy on people that attack women and children? Why don't we just pop them? Get them out. Throw them up into the sun. Do something. Just get rid of them. Like, they're they're, they're going to keep doing it. These people have something mentally broken in their brain. You know, there's no point in, in keeping them around. I don't want to pay for these fuckers to live out their lives. Just my personal belief. I think child molesters should be... On that, though, moving on. Blah, blah, fucking blah. John and Burl... Burl, 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 Burl brother. Burl, 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 Burl. They go <laughs> off into the woods to look for firewood. Go out and get some more wood for the fire. We don't have enough. Here, I'll get some. You guys, uh, 
fix the grill and everything, and I'll be back in a sec. Where are you going? Just over here. Well, don't go too far. Oh, don't worry, Mom. I'm gonna check out some of these neat old cabins, okay? I'll be right back. Okay. Well, For how fucking long? Okay. <laughs> no, I see, it, it, like, was, if he was uh, a Murray, that's probably how his name would be. <laughs> Murray, Mur Mur Murray. You know, because of his short little shrunken pumpkin face. <laughs> you know, and wearing glasses like that doesn't help because it makes your head look even smaller. Oh, oh fuck so. Weirder shaped. Blah, blah, fucking blah. We cut the goddamn butthead here. Now. Got, well, or clockwork pud. Take your fucking pick, right? You it's can go either. Butthead or clockwork pud and buttnick. I know I've made that reference before and three people will get it. So him and buttnick are walking through the fucking woods yeah. talking about how they're going to scare the kids. Clockwork porridge. <laughs> and then they fucking decide they're going to both rest up against this tree back to back. I don't know about this, Ray. I don't think they're gonna think it's really that funny. Are you kidding me? I mean, come on, this is the perfect setup. Just think about it for a minute. I get them totally nervous by telling them how people are dying and disappearing up in Redston. I mean, even I started to believe it when I told John and Carrie. This is the perfect setup. Yeah, but John and Chris might not appreciate this kind of humor. Nah, don't worry about it. I know them good enough. As soon as the initial shock is over, they'll laugh their asses off. If they don't pound the shit out of us first. <laughs> nah, nah, listen, nothing could be simpler. We find out where they are, and we hang out for a while. As soon as the time is right, we spread the fake blood around, we make some stupid noises, and we just sit there and laugh, and they worry themselves to death. And I was like, Never dude, been that tired. have That's you ever been walking walk. through the woods and like, you know, with a friend and you're like, hey, let's take a rest. You know, you don't sit at separate trees. No. You gotta sit back to back, because you know why? The framing of the shot. Well, maybe that, or they're just not uncomfortable with their, you know, with their with their backs touching. No, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, they're they're comfortable with their manliness that they can lean back to back without getting a heart on. Maybe you can't. Maybe you are uncomfortable being close to your friends or men in general. You get a little chubbers. Speaking of fake blood, where yeah. is the fake blood? Oh no! Fuck! Fuck! I left it in the car. I'm not walking up that hill again. I'll tell you that right now. All right, all right, I'll get it. Besides, I got a surprise even you haven't seen yet in the car. Really what? Well, I brought a little costume along for the situation. I figured I'd add some melodrama to it. But that's why I brought this. I saw it in a movie once. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll be right back. You're gonna love this. Okay, well hurry up. Let's get this show on the road. So blah, blah, fucking blood. John is walking through the fucking woods Picking up firewood for how long, Terry? Forever! 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 It's been a long road. And <sighs> Dream On's playing. For a straight minute. Yeah, and that goes on for a, for a, a, for how long, Terry? <laughs> <laughs> and then fucking John finds bloody cloth, but doesn't think too much about it. Dude, we've been over tearing it for like a year now. We're gonna tear Terry's ass with no. <laughs> Like, this probably has more Terry's in than Rambo, that Rambo fan film had Terry's in. But anyway. This is a Terry Hulk Hogan size of Terry's. Blah, blah, fucking Terry blah. Terry Bologna. What is it, Bologna? What the fuck is it? Uh, something like that. <laughs> Look at you, like. <laughs> you're gonna throw up. I can't be Bologna. fucking bothered. So anyway, <laughs> blah blah fucking blah, John and goddamn Bill Murray's fucking brother fucking talk about the bloody cloth and stuff. Chris, I just saw something really strange. Well, what is it, John? What's the matter? 
Well, back there where I got this wood, I don't know, I found material pieces of cloth. And, well, I'm no expert, but I could have sworn there was blood on it. Bloody pieces of cloth? Are you serious? Completely. And underneath the cloth and the leaves, there were spatterings of blood. Well, you know, it really could be just about anything. Maybe an animal hurt itself and dragged itself through the woods. It was cloth. It was definitely cloth. Well, maybe you imagined it. I mean, that little incident with Tweedledee and Tweedledum is shaking us all up quite a bit. Chris, I did not imagine it. Look, I still have the stains on my fingers. Well, you know, it could be berries. It looks like berry juice. You know, you're right. I didn't even think about that. With all this happened to us, I, I don't know, I guess I've been kind of jittery. Then again, you know, it could be blood. Great. Thank you very, very much. And then they decide, ah, oh, we're not going to tell the girls or anything. No important detail of like, hey, there's basically fucking a murder scene over here. Right. Let's not tell them. Let's not say nothing. I probably shouldn't even have brought it up. No, I think it's good that you did because now we can keep on our toes. Okay. Okay, well, listen. Let's not mention any of this to the girls. There's no reason to worry them needlessly. No, I agree. You're right. I mean, look, the heck with the girls. I'm a little frightened myself. <laughs> Okay, listen, let's get that barbecue going. Great. Dude. Your car is 15 feet away. All you gotta do is walk right past your goddamn flipped over car. Right. Because you're in somebody's backyard. Right. <laughs> Can I interject something? No, you fucking can't. Just, no, just, what? <laughs> just offhand. What? Okay, question. You know, like, you get older and stuff, and your weird, you know, features on your face seem to emphasize. Like, if you look like you've got a dick nose at 19, well, it's going to be really well, dick nose at 40. don't ears and noses just always grow? They kind right. of never stop growing. That's right. why you see old so, men look like goddamn... Gollum. Wow, <laughs> Just fucking trolls. <laughs> yeah, looking like those old troll dolls. Yeah, right. With the hair. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, when you're that old, who gives a fuck? They don't. Who gives a fuck now? Yeah. I don't. I don't. But, no, no, anyway, but... But, uh, just, yeah... Uh, Brooke, dead, dead, dead. Yeah, Brooke Hogan, how how big do you think her dinner roll chin is now? I don't fucking know. Like, how deep do you think that crevice is, you know? I guess it all depends on how many guys keep banging their papers. fucking dick into it. But anyway, moving the fuck on, right? Goddamn blah blah fucking blah. Butnik gets macheted by fucking Goose with the longest wait for how long, Terry, beforehand? Forever. Where you been? That's the greatest costume I've ever seen. Beats this, I'll tell you that. Where'd you get it? I didn't see it in the car. Wow, that's neat. Especially the machete. What took you so long, huh? Where you been? Been waiting here for about an hour. Jerk. Where's your tongue, Ray? Let's hear something. Where you been? Ray, what are you doing? Ray, put that down! Oh my god! You had to make it inappropriate about Brooke. I was just talking about her dinner roll, Jim. Okay, so... One, fuck! One gross McBride movie and well, you turned into a... John McFucking Poofhead, him and his goddamn fucking girl, girlfriend are walking in the woods... For how long, Terry? <laughs> I wasn't going to. But well, I yeah. figured you were you were getting up there. I yeah. Figured, uh, take off the tension. And then they talk by a lake, and John is a sexist. You know that lake is just perfect for you and Amy to do the dinner dishes. How come? It's an unwritten law. The men do the hunting, the women do the cooking, and the dishes. Some hunting, we're having hot dogs and hamburgers. Hey, come on. Chris and I risked life and limb to get that food. Women shoppers can be holy terrors when it comes to getting hamburger meat on sale. <laughs> this looks like a good lake to wash the dishes in. Yeah, he's... Men hunt, women do dishes. Yeah, women cook and do dishes. I'm like, wow, John, bringing in that 50s analogy there. So... They hear a scream? Ah! Oh my god, that was Amy. Oh. 
and, and then they run Coots up that fucking hill. Right, but like the scream. Let's be honest. Oh yeah, they heard it. Yeah. yeah. How the fuck did it sound like she was basically right behind them, but they had to run a mile away to get to her? Eh. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, that Susie Q muffin, whatever the fuck her name was, and they ran. So she saw a snake. Amy saw a snake. Just a snake. Just a snake. My god, I've never seen a snake that big before. The zoos don't even have it that big. Well, Amy, he's not here anymore. He must have gone home to his little snake house. <laughs> Come on, guys. It's set up so we can eat. I'm hungry. Yeah. Right. That was the whole fucking deal. So, blah, blah, fucking blah. A clockwork pud is exploring this cabin for goddamn ever. And he's teasing he's going to put this mask on to cover up his pud face, but he never fucking does. You were really hoping he did. Yeah, yeah. but no. What does happen is Eli Roth pops out from the fucking floor and fucking axes him. Yeah. Unibrow has got strength of ten mutants. And then we cut to Bill fucking Murray's illegitimate brother, and uh, him and his girl are making out for a little too long. You thought I was going to say it, but I didn't say it. You didn't say it. So. <laughs> but for a little too long. That's okay. But then they start, we get some great acting. I'm pregnant, Chris. What did you say? You heard me, I'm pregnant. You're kidding. Believe me, Chris, I'm not kidding. I wish I were, but I'm not. The fact that we said it that many times is what chic fucking bullshit. Hmm. And then we get more great acting. How could it happen? Chris! I, I don't mean how could it happen to me. How could it happen? I guess we weren't careful enough. How long have you known? I've known all week. Then why didn't you tell me before? Oh, I don't know. I thought it would be best before I talked to you. I just wanted to think of the right things to say. And I was afraid of what you might think. And then we get even more great acting, because we find out she's pregnant. You should have just come to me right away. There's no reason why you should have had to handle all that responsibility yourself. I mean, I love you and I want to be there for you when you need me. Please understand. I'm sorry. I know I should have let you know before. Yep. Yep. And small, tiny, shrunken pumpkin head was like, well, how? And she was like, you know, and then he was like, oh, no, I didn't mean that. Like, how? Oh. Like, what are you? Don't ask women that, you idiots. Like, whenever your woman says, like, hey, uh, whatever, I'm pregnant. Don't go, how? Don't be Dr. Bloodbath. You know, you know, so she no, like, but see, or you could be like, you know, you could be direct sure. and be like, that's fucking horrible. Take care of that shit. <laughs> you really do want to be the most hated man on YouTube. Yeah, you? pretty much, yeah. You're so, anyway, fuck. moving Don't on. This we this cut to it. young Frank. Frank! It's because he hates, not hates children. Chopping up a fucking person and bitching about. Mommy! Mommy? Oh, mom wouldn't want it that way. Mom's a fucking bitch. That's what mom is. A cunt. A rag. For how long, Terry? Don't. Forever. 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 Ah, <laughs> I did it. Dude, 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 it's still fucking going. For how long, Terry? I know. And it's still goddamn going on for how long, Terry? Forever. All these shots. Goddamn, that was fucking what chic. Fucking bullshit. All these shots took forever. I want that kid from Sandlot. Let's switch it up. Forever. 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 <sighs> so blah blah fucking blah. They pull out the little transistor radio like you would take to a baseball game in 1988. And I love how the and real sound was on there at first, and then all of a sudden the fucking ad the wall. Well, here the this. yard. This. You're listening to the best music. W R I P. Rip. F. <laughs> Okay, so, and now, 
Kmart Carol Kane's in the fucking um, cabin smoking a cigarette, right? Right. Her, pool, her cools. And they're outside listening to the fucking news. And the descriptions match those given by people who witnessed the other two break-ins. Police are looking for two men of medium build, one of which walks with a limp, and what was described as a towering figure in overalls wearing a strange mask and breathing very heavily. Once again, the only thing stolen from the store were several machetes and an axe. When asked about the incident, old Charlie, the owner of the store, was quoted as saying, what do you expect? It was probably kids belonging to some stupid cult or something. Somebody's like, they're not cool. I'm like, I don't, who gives a fuck? Like, all I know is it took her forever to do those bangs. Yeah. Because it was like a waterfall of bangs over her head. So, blah, blah, fucking blah. Goose and Eli fucking Roth. They fucking chase after Kmart Carol Kane, like, under the house and the whole fucking deal. I, in these movies, I, I love the fact that suddenly you're hearing goes completely off. Like, you can't hear dick. Because I'm pretty sure you could hear somebody crunching a leaf from a mile away if you're in the woods. You know, so anybody sneaking up on anybody is fucking horseshit. You know, so you'd be able to hear that shit. Even over the birds chirping. Well, Eli Roth pops out the fucking window and slits her throat. And then he pulls her in and hacks on her for a long time. Right. <laughs> Soup's on. And you're thinking to yourself, damn. This is really going to piss off John McBride. It's going to bring the animal out in him. Well, I mean, him and the rest of the He's gonna fucking be so kids, upset. they go look for her for how long, extremely long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and then after that, John finds a puddle of gore, but that doesn't really seem to affect him that fucking much. That sure as hell is in berries. He's like, ah, I see blood and guts every day. Blah, blah, fucking blah. <sighs> you know what? Blah, blah, motherfucking blah. We're skipping some shit to goddamn the brothers now have the pregnant chick held hostage. And fucking John McBride and Bill Murray's illegitimate fucking brother are like, they have a fucking showdown, like a standoff kind of thing. They're like, well, Frank. <laughs> Says <laughs> this. It's a showdown. <laughs> You're not so S M A R T, are you? Did you hear what he said? He said, shut the fuck up. One more word out of you, and the bitch gets a throat slit. <sighs> yeah, and, you, and, and <sighs> it wasn't much of one at all. In fact, these guys, McBride and Pumpkinhead, you know, were, were, were like, you know, they were pud. All pud. And I don't feel bad for them getting taken out because they were such putt. I'm like, you can't beat fucking okay. skinny ass Frank, not Frank. Well, that's why I said, dude, that's why I was like, this movie, like, the fucking victims, like, the people you're supposed to feel sorry for, you don't. are so bland and just, bland you, hate, you hate them so fucking much in their own way that you kind of root for these awful fucking villains. Yeah. And I don't mean awful, I mean, they're awful they're villains, awful, but I mean, performed awfully as well. Well, especially Eli Unibrow Roth. <sighs> so, anyway, blah blah, motherfucking blah, goddamn John and fucking Goose have a goddamn axe sledgehammer fight that da, da, goes da, on da, 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 da. for a little too long. Dude, I keep staring at little holes in the bottom of your little flipper flues. You know, and fucking, I just, it just looks like, like, like you could take off like Iron Man, you know what I mean? <laughs> I wish that I'd take the fuck off out right out the window right now. I'm pretty sure. Finish it yourself! You know, how, like, you know, like Stark, when he first started off and he kept fucking hitting the ceiling and shit yeah. and busting himself. Well, that would be you every time. You know, there's, me too, dude, there's no way. I mean, what the, you'd be like, oh. I did, blood. I did forget to mention that before the axe sledgehammer fight, fucking Goose does kind of choke throw 
fucking McBride. Right, he has the strength of a thousand Jersey Shore morons. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so mean on Jersey. Oh, but Eli Roth comes out and fucking goddamn knocks out John McBride. Pa pow That's not true. You know what? Fuck that. Because when I went on vacation and I was close to Philadelphia, it was more like Lancaster around that area, all I saw was Jersey fucking plates, and people there were just dick bangers. You know? They were just dick bangers. I'm sorry, but everybody there for that had a dirt Jersey plate were just like, Yeah, get out of my way. Let me eat some ice cream. Yeah, look at the office. Just get the fuck out of here. I love you, New Jersey. He might be a dick, but I love you. I just want to, like, you know, hit all the <laughs> snookies and all the fucking douche muffins and the fucking ab fuckers. Anyway, blah, blah, fucking blah. Bags. Eli stabs the knocked out John McBride. I'm just kidding. They pull out his guts like he's goddamn Rhodes. And then they're fucking eating said guts, right? chop off his fucking arm and you're like wow for like the acting and everything being complete shit the gore is not bad it looks so like somebody read there? a book that Tom Savini wrote or read an article about Tom Savini it was like hey we could do that yeah an article about Tom Savini if it wasn't him just kissing his own ass the whole time but dude this is the pup my piff <laughs> You. <laughs> this is the moment I lost my mind. This is the moment <laughs> that you sound like a fucking I, I actually kind of was down, man. Because I was like, <laughs> dude, if this movie does what I think it's going to do, I'm down. Guess what? Frank! Frank! And goddamn Eli force feed Bill Murray's illegitimate brother and the pregnant chick, John McBride. Hey, A for effort. I like the, the concept of doing that. We're terrible hosts. We have guests. Could you ever forgive us? Here. Yeah. It's, it's time to eat. Have some. <laughs> <laughs> hey, big boy. Open up. It's your turn. <laughs> Chew your food. You wouldn't want to spit it up. And we'd have to force feed you that, too. This is the way a proper hook. Come on, it's not that bad. Watch. Watch how a professional does it. <laughs> it's not that bad. Come on. It's still nice and warm. <laughs> Come on, baby. But like, but the thing I said is like, all right, you're knocked out, but I don't think you're gonna be knocked out in the sense that, like, if somebody's fucking stabbing or pulling your guts out, would you yeah, wake somebody up? Somebody would pull them out and be like, "Joe got him," like you did. You know? <laughs> I mean, I just don't think you're gonna be able to fucking. You'd just be like, <laughs> <laughs> and then wake up and go, "Hey!" Oh, well, he never. Woke he never woke up at all. Took out my guts. Put them back. Because Eli Roth carries them away, and Frank, Frank is goddamn creepy to the pregnant chick. Hey, you're pretty cute. You could be the next Ivory Girl. And <laughs> hey, listen, man, seeing that we've eaten, I uh, I think it's time for the dessert. How about it, honey pie? Want a party? Are you hot? Yeah, you're hot. I can tell. You look hot. And you smell hot. I hate Frank. And then goddamn, yeah, Frank, goddamn Frank. Bill Murray's illegitimate brother oh, tells her, or tells Frank, Frank, that he's got, that she's goddamn pregnant. Let her alone. Put your fucking hands off her. For God's sake, she's pregnant. <laughs> Isn't that something? She's got a bun in the oven. She's got a bun in the oven. She's got a bun in the oven. You've been a bad girl. Yeah. Don't you tell the psycho Smart that he's got that pregnant. Yeah, you know, smooth move there, Ajax, you fucking idiot. You know, pumpkin head 
pork bag. But no, like Bill Murray brother, not Bill Murray's brother. But like fucking idiot fucking tells psychopath that she's pregnant. Oh, well, what do you think he's gonna do now, dummy? Maybe fuck with her and the baby? Okay, what's great is, you know, they're all tied up on the ground, and Bill Murray's illegitimate brother's all just, like, threatening him. Like, you're lucky I'm tied up. You don't know how fucking lucky you are I'm tied up. <laughs> you're fucking lucky I'm tied up. Shut up! I'm gonna Murray. kill you! Yeah. I'm gonna kill you! Shut up! We didn't do anything to you! We just got here for the weekend! Follow. We didn't do anything to you! Follow. You're gonna you don't know how lucky you are that I'm tied up. I Leave him alone! I'm gonna kill you! What? Threaten the guy with the big giant blade. Yeah. I'm gonna kill you. You're dead, you know that. The guy's getting closer to the thing. I'd be like, you know what? I'm just kidding, man. You, well, friends, yeah, he know. goes straight up and... Gah! Yeah. And once again, pretty decent fucking gore. Not bad. And Bert... So, Mur Murray. <laughs> not Mur Murray. He fucking... He, uh, he's still putting up some sort of a fight. Not really. He's just going. has dispenser now, you know. Da, 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 well, they got their axe to the head. <laughs> <laughs> and well, once again, decent fucking gore. And once again, his girlfriend was like, eh. I'm serious. Yeah. I don't think there was much more reaction after that. Uh, so blah, blah, yeah. motherfucking blah. It doesn't matter. Doesn't the pregnant matter. chick got loose. That doesn't matter. But she, she has <laughs> She's loose. <laughs> she will be loose after having the kid. Yeah. But anyway, she stabs Frank with his own fucking knife. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and then she like, runs. Stab him once, stab him a thousand and, times. And then she runs for how long, Terry? Yeah, thank you. It's okay, Terry. You can come back. Forever! 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 <laughs> but no, uh, uh, yeah, but yeah. I mean, the fact that she didn't fucking stab the shit out of him, put an end to this motherfucker, is what she fucking bullshit. Yeah. So she runs around the fucking woods for a long time. Yes. Finds a '80s teenager smoke and fuck place where it's I just like, like a paintball thing. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I just think it's because look, there's pillows. I, this is just where fucking teenagers in rural well, New Jersey like, went to fucking when you're, smoke. When, well, that's possible, but maybe when you're kneeling down and you're trying to get aim, you need a pillow. And she your knees hides down. in this thing for a very long time. Not everybody has tactical knee pads like you to blow guys. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, I guess she thinks it's cool because she, like, walks out <laughs> and just by chance happens to walk over oh. a spot where Goose pops up out of the ground and Goose grabs her. always there. But it's like, so, he basically, while she was hiding and he was walking around, he left, buried himself in a spot that he's like, I know she's going to come here. Yeah. Covered I'm himself all up. I'm assuming she's coming this way. And then she happened to go that way. And that was a lot. See, Jason was a fucking master at figuring out which way they were going to go. Because they'd be running, and remember the music was always dun 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 And they'd be like a mile away. Because he was basically walking like an old woman. You know? But, like, but he always knew where to hide exactly. They would be coming down, doing that thing where they're like walking, and there's a tree right here, not looking, not looking, not looking, and all of a sudden, pfft, he was right there, waiting yeah. the whole time. Fuck that shit. So, anyway. Was one lucky fuck. Kruger had it easy, man. He was always in their head. Like, yeah. he could just be there wherever they were, you know? Ice cream shop, there's Kruger. <laughs> so, <laughs> Goose gets goddamn demasked, and he's goddamn toxic. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that, but the tongue thing killed me. I was like, "Why are you doing that?" Oh, uh, so whatever. Uh, he, he runs like, away. He looked like like the dude from the bad guy in Fly Two. Remember Fly Two? Yeah. The guy that got put in the transport at the very end. Mm -hmm. Then he came out. He's like, mm -hmm. "I was like, ah, it's gross." Fly Two creep me out. So he runs out. Frank and Eli grab the fucking pregnant chick, stab her. Yeah. And now is where the shocking oh, bit the comes shocking in. Oh, the shocking bit. But here's but where I come of, in. Yeah, because all of my enthusiasm is now gone by this point. I so. mean, after you've taken us on this fucking trolley ride, this two mile an hour trolley ride of poo, 
all the way through giving us fucking well, dude, you know, characters movie, like McBride, Poofy you, you say You head. say trolley ride, and I say no. This movie was more like that turtle ride of Kennywood, remember? That little, it was, you know, it was a it the was, turtle. That was, somewhat, that was more exciting. Tur turtle ride was more exciting than this fucking shit. I had more fun on turtle ride <laughs> than I did watching this, so no. You know, okay. I, I, I'm going to say, like, this is... This, this isn't even a fucking ride, you know? This was being dragged along, you know, on a sled. Not on snow, but ground, where it's just dragging. <laughs> Sparks fucking yeah, flying and from the like, fucking rails. So, anyway, back to the shocking part. Jagger bushes. Fucking Frank! 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 Says some fucking creepy bullshit. Anyway, he always does. I can't tell what it is! Give me death. Smells like a girl. And then tastes the goddamn fetus. Tastes like a girl? <laughs> hey, look! A woman with a view! Ah. Like, oh, that's why I forgot they did that. And everybody's like, oh my god! I'm like, listen, if you sat through the whole thing, you're so numb from the boringness that you're just like, I'm oh, fucked. Yeah. Well, guess what, dude? It's almost over. Because it now cuts to sometime in the future where the three brothers are in the woods and they're all ranting about being hungry and Frank just goes on for, oh, God damn it, I'm Terry. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm sick to death of these woods and this hot and crap. Why don't we go out and get some fast food like everybody else? You remember what Mama said about fast food. The preservatives and additives will kill you. So guess what? They're hungry, they're not gonna go get fast food, so they turn on fucking Frank. Well, that's all fine and nice, but what are we gonna eat? We're too far from the smokehouse. I've got an idea. I mean, at that point, I was like, well, what are they going to do now? There's nobody left to kill. You know, because, like, but, like... Frank! You know, well, here's the thing. They're bitching about, we don't have any food. You're fucking cannibals. You just killed five people. Eat that, motherfucker. No, that's why I said it cuts to some point in the future, because I figure they already ate them. That's stupid. But anyway, you know what's stupid? The goddamn credits with crap music over top. If I had to leave you, baby, would it hurt you? Would you cry a lot if I was there? Yeah. 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 So yeah, we're back in the roll. We're, I mean, we're back. We're, we're back, back rolling through the punches in his worst movies on goddamn yeah, YouTube. back to being hurt physically and mentally. By it's film. like, I almost want to say, it was like, should we do a Slash House one next week to cleanse our palate or should we just keep pounding forward? I don't want to say pounding and slash no, house pounding. pictures. Do we just keep pushing forward with these crap full I like want, fucking bullshit? No, I don't want, Wait, I next don't week want, is goddamn St. Patrick's Day. Should we do something St. Patrick's Day related if I can find anything? I whatever, we'll try. But like I but I I, I want like fucking you know uh like Nick Millar. I want Dr. Bloodbath. Dude, you remember how, how boring pushing. those movies were? They were, but they were fun, too. Just like this one. This one was fun, no. but mostly boring. No. But anyway, I'm done. So on that note, You're for done. Gutter and well, Goddamn we're Bird, this we're has been Bird. another one of the motherfucking worst movies on YouTube. <sighs> yeah, that was fucking rough. Oh, I got pee too. So, we'll see you fucking later. You know, I never thought this weekend would come. I swear to God, this whole week dragged. Yeah, now we got the whole weekend to relax. Just how far is it we're going? Redston's about another 30 minutes up the road. Redston? That name sounds familiar for some reason. Didn't something happen there recently? Some family supposedly disappeared there. Come on, I'm getting really tired of hearing about that stuff. Is it safe to go there? Sure, look, there's four of us. Besides, what could happen? <sighs> uh, hey, what's wrong? Nothing. You can't fool me. You've been down in the dumps ever since we left the campus. I mean, if something's troubling you or, or you're worried about something, you can tell me. Believe me, it'll make you feel better. 
I don't think so. I'd really rather you drop it. I don't want to discuss it now. All right, if that's what you want. But just keep in mind that if you want to talk, I'll be here for you. Okay. Thanks.